Hi there. Good morning. Nice to see you. Hello, Benjelov. So, let's play some Hidden Rush Deception. That deck worked yesterday pretty good. Oh, and maybe if we are lucky, we can climb back to Mythic. We will see. By the way, yesterday was from the E2E thing really a bad day compared to the days before. But yeah, maybe we can go back to Mythic with a Meteorite deck better than with our shiny Amazon deck. And when, when we are once back in Mythic, we are going to earn more again for sure. Oh, the queue is quite take, taking quite long today, huh? Cannot remember when I have waited more than a minute in a normal ranked queue. Maybe there is something wrong? I don't know. Hopefully it's going to start up. I like that song. Ultra Numb Exterminated Remix. Okay. Sounds good. So, looks like nobody is playing today Gods Unchained in, in Diamond, huh? Is that even possible? Nah, come on, start the game. Here we go. Okay, let's focus. Oros, God of War, Elkoyu. Hmm, playing that. Let's see. Looks like he's playing control, maybe. These cards won't be helpful if we don't find any creature. Oh. Okay, a cat with a knife. What? Sounds like a good start. Maybe we also drop the Needle Fan Chameleon to be extra fast. Hopefully we draw another one drop. Now oh, we also could hide our Chameleon. Yeah, I guess it's all right this like that. Oh, what the hell? This is not fair, I guess.
decent. Holy crap. Next turn, he could have bifurcating curse. So I guess we are good to go with the feral shapeshifter. We could also bring him down to... GG. All right, that was a fast one. Looks like Hidden Rush could be a little bit the bane of of control death if you are fast enough. I think it cannot be much faster than a kitty with two knives. At least it worked. Yeah so far. I think what is good especially about Hidden Rush at the moment is that there is not much nature. I haven't seen nature decks for quite a while. Oh! <laughs> I see, I see. Be careful. Is the queue taking so long for you too today? Okay, let's shuffle Lady Marcella in, I guess. Or maybe against Agrolite, she's good. Ah, uh, okay. So maybe other people are playing today um, Magic with the Wilds of Eldraine release? Well, I don't know. Maybe just everyone is leaving Gods Unchained now, I have no clue. Hopefully people are coming back with sealed. I don't know about this hand. I think armor lurker is quite good against light. Ah, let's keep it. My turn already. Let us fight with honor. Yeah, let's just start with the armor lurker. Hmm. Ah, come on, let's just run over that warden. Live a little. It may not be elegant, but I think it's okay. So, he might buff that guy and kill Armor Lurker. Cannot want that, I guess. We have to be careful here in this matchup. Mm, the good thing though is these guys cannot harm my armor lurker as long as they are one drops, but if he has Radiant Dawn, I'm in trouble. Maybe I should have traded one guy off and pinged the other with the distraction. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, if he got a Radiant Dawn, we are in trouble. Or the other 4 mana card. Chaining of the Gods would also bring us in trouble. Ah, oh, and he has Chaining of the Gods. Crap.
But at least our kitty got the buff too. So we can now play Assassin's Aim on our kitty. This is insane. So I think everything is going to be alright. Lady Marcella is cool too. Never seen a kitty with Assassin's Aim, I guess. Looks like at the end of his turn, he's going to die. GG. Nice. So far, so good. Let's try again. I just thought the music stopped, but I think it's just very silent in the background. Oh, we are going against war. So here we have to be super fast. Uh, not with a shade walker, uh, but with a pyramid warden with assassin's aim. If he cannot kill him early. The thing is... Hmm. This would be great if he could go first. But yeah, with going second... I'm not sure. When... if he got more blitz guys, he's just going to trample over that Pyramid Warden. And war has so many blitz creatures. Ah, uh, I don't know. I should have just played the Pyramid Warden, I guess. But I guess it's still alright when I drop him in the next turn. Hey, Game for Scylla! Welcome back! Nice to see you! Pretty fast. Oh, surprise delivery though. But I think we have to drop the Pyramid Warden first. I'm not quite sure. If he plays more creatures, I will wish I have played surprise delivery. Hmm. He's trading her off for sure. Simski, yeah, let's go. Welcome back. I just don't know. Let's play Pyramid Warden and hope we are going to end up faster. But I don't think so. We will see. I'm wondering if he's going for face or if he's trading her off. But I think he's going to trade her off and doing a lot of damage anyway. Shh. 
shield maiden. Mm -hmm. Oh crap. Yeah. We are not fast enough. Yeah, I think the main disadvantage here is going second again, since we were not able to set up our Pyramide Warden. If we could pip into him on the first turn, and then just play the Assassin's aim on him. Then third turn, we could have already played our surprise delivery, it's all about timing here. Otherwise, that would have been a great matchup. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, guys, Twitter is quite new. And if you want to see always when I um, adjust my schedule, for streaming. You can just take a look at my Twitter. I guess it doesn't matter here anymore. We are going to die. I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah. GG. Let's try again. The first two games were pretty easy and now the, the last one was unwinnable, I guess. Maybe maybe it would have turned out differently if I had started off with the Pyramid Warden anyway. Even when going second. But I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about that. Urkomissa. We will need the distraction for sure, but now we are going first. This is good. The question is, do we try to get Assassin's Aim? Or do we rather go with these? I think Stone Skin Poison is not bad against war. Let's try... ...to find... Assassin's aim. Best of luck. So no assassin's aim yet, but I guess it's good to start off with the pyramid warden anyway. Okay. Let's play... Hmm... Not even quite sure. Yeah, let's play the Shadow. And the Makeshift Shift. We beat her. And hit the face. By the way, guys, thank you very much for following on Twitter, too. Thank you. So... Hmm. I guess let's go face with the kitty. I can't do that. Let's butcher the Vanguard X woman. Attack his face. We're hiding the Pyramid Warden and play the Switch Duelist. So now he just has to go face with his stuff. Next turn we can hide all our creatures again with Petro Mary Bandit. So there's no way he can get to our creatures. 
Okay, this is hitting hard, but in the end we are going to be faster. Yeah. We are going to get the bow of champions and yeah. Petro Mary Bandit. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I think if we are lucky, we could even finish him next turn. We have here 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh yeah, we can finish him. GG. Alright. So far, so good. We are shielded. I guess if we can pick up four more wins today, we should be mythic. As far as I can remember. I guess it's always seven wins. Hey, Trey! Nice to see you. Welcome back. Haven't seen you for quite a while, I guess. How are you doing? I have to I have to get the the a tray wave emoji. I have to get that one. Since in Magic I'm playing I'm playing at the moment a mono green beer deck. Oh just 50% oh god. I hope you're going to get better soon. Now I'm I'm doing good again. Oh, we are playing against the same guy again, I guess. Hmm. Oh, got two kitties. Let's keep the two kitties. My turn already. Once more unto the breach. I see. I see. It is pretty cool indeed. And two cats are just evil, as long as he has no removal that does one damage to everyone. I think we should be pretty safe. The question here is just, do we really want to play the Pyramid Warden? He can trade into the Pyramid Warden and if he got a Blitz creature for two, Attack, Pyramid Warden is already history, but I guess it, it's okay. Or maybe we should have just used the distraction on this guy and next turn again. Yeah, I don't know. We have to draw something small for three mana or less. Oh yeah, that's okay. So, I guess let's get rid of the biggest guy and attack the face again. Next turn we can can kill another creature again. We could get Nightleaf Trapper if we have to, or the Rune of Strength. Hey Shilly, welcome back! Nice to see you, as always. Could also get the Rune of Strength, though. 
Let's just get it before he can get it. White Fourgard, aha. So, we have to be careful, I guess. Just a little. Hmm. Should be all right. Should be all right when we hide that one. Push a kitty. We're getting the rune of fire too. I can't do that. I think. I hope. We can take it. Maybe I should have given the Rune of Fire to the Feral Shapeshifter. Uh, if he got a Vicious Rent and the Blade of Sticks or something like that, that pushes six more damage, then we are done. Ah, Blade and Imp. Yeah, Blade and Imp, for example, yeah. That's right. But we were lucky. So lucky. Woohoo. All right, so who's going to be our next opponent and what is he going to play? And why is my coffee already empty? This cannot be real. I need coffee. Hmm. I'm wondering, could I leave the queue on and get a coffee in the meantime? You never know when the queue ends. Hmm. I guess I just get, I just get a coffee after the next round. It's more safe. By the way, guys, what are you playing at the moment in Ranked? Is there any deck you have made good experience with in the last few days and weeks? By the way, what do we have in the Star Store today? Sip of Elixir, Feast on the Dead, just a nibble. Not too bad. Coronet magic, okay. 
budget control one, card draw magic. I see. And which one was feeling the best? No, the Amazons are just taking a short break until we are mythic again. Since I feel like in Diamond, Amazon is not doing so good because there is more aggro. And Amazons are better against the control decks usually. In in aggro decks, I against aggro decks I rely so much on on going first. Con Catra magic is the best by a country mile. Okay, I see. I see. I see a lot of Catra magic at the moment too. Chrissy, welcome back. Nice to see you. Yeah, I can imagine card draw magic is pretty nice at the moment. Oh, the, the queue is taking forever today. It's, I guess, really, really long time ago that I have waited for a game to start up that long. In God's Unchained. Oh yeah, if the opponent is not going first, yes. But then, even if you are going first, there is a... Yeah, the first turn advantage for sure. And also a problem is... Turn 4-5, when uh, white four guards is com are coming in and... Cunning challenger, this is also giving me a hard time. And when they have their four or five mana creatures on spot, I usually have problems. My turn already. Yeah, maybe I should play Canopy and Strike. Um, at the moment, I'm because of all the magic around. I was dropping my removals for playing more creatures with ward. That's giving me a less good matchup against aggro war, but a better against magic. So it's always like, which do you want to push or which do you think, what do you think is the is more around at the moment and there was so many um, magic maybe I should go for something in between I don't know 22% aggro war okay that's a lot Wild nature, yeah, probably, yeah. But I never see wild nature in the end of all this. Yeah, for sure. I can imagine that. Well, here we have a cunning challenger. But I guess against Hidden Rush it doesn't matter so much. <laughs> Neutral nature. <laughs> I see. Ah, Tavern Brawler can finish him. Yeah. 
And he's getting the Nightleaf Trapper. Mm hmm. Not even too bad. Surprise delivery is interesting though. Maybe I should have played Armor Lurker over Surprise Delivery. Then we could may finish him next turn already. But maybe we can do it anyway. Yeah. GG All right um, As far as I can see Hidden Rush is going really good in Diamond But yeah, so far We have been always pretty lucky with our hand and so on Oh one second, guys. I'm going to get quickly a coffee in the kitchen. Thank you very much for watching so far. I'll be right back. I, I'm going to hurry, I promise. And make sure you join the giveaway for our zombie summoning removal card. I'll be right back. All right, here we go again. Thank you for sticking with me. And to be honest, hmm, I gotta admit, I was not just getting coffee. I was also getting some ice cream. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, it definitely is. But I have to be careful that I'm not going to eat too much ice cream and end up uh, too fat for my job. <laughs> yeah, ice cream for breakfast. Oh, I guess I had breakfast like three hours ago. But I think still it's really nice. Hmm. With magic, I'm really not sure. I guess stone skin poison is not good against magic. We should maybe try to get a kitty when we have two knives. But... No, maybe it's not the best idea to keep two knives against magic. Since they have removals that are not targeting. Hmm. I'm a little bit afraid. But if we can hit him twice with that, it's going to be okay already, I think. We just have to hope he has not the two mana thing that is doing two damage to everyone. Hmm. Maybe we could need the stone skin poison later on too. But yeah, what else should we do? Hmm. Okay. Please, no shape blast yet. Please, no. That we will see. Hmm. He got it. Hmm. Collection elementalist is interesting, though. Really good against magic, I guess. Hmm, I'm wondering, should I use it already? I guess yes. We shouldn't wait for something like that. How curious. Oh, he can take one down already. But now we can hide the left one, so should be okay. Oh, damn it, he is uh, sleeping. I wasn't aware that it sends him to sleep. While he is um, warded. But yeah, I guess the damage popped his ward and then the other ability sent him to sleep. Hmm. This is not... I shouldn't have used that on this guy, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm really not sure here. Maybe it was really a mistake to use the distraction on that guy, leaving my Reflection Elementalist out for damage, but... Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. That's not 
gonna happen. How do you intend to face me from behind the mods? Hmm. <laughs> okay. GG. Nothing we can do against such a huge shield. We are running out of cards. But yeah. So far, we are still on track. Two more wins and we should end up in Mythic, I guess. Or maybe three. Hmm. I don't know. These days I'm really obsessed with ice cream. It's it's a problem. I always eat ice cream until there's no ice cream left in my household. So maybe I should just stop buying ice cream. That could help, I guess. Hmm, yeah, okay. This could be a good matchup again. <laughs> yeah, that was your... Sh sure, sure, you're right. Definitely better than cocaine, yeah. Hey, ooh, welcome back. Nice to see you. I'm really not sure about this hand. I guess we don't need two stone skin poisons. I guess maybe we don't need any stone skin poison against death. I don't know. Lady Marcella seems not to be that good. Merrick, I don't know that early. Best of luck. Hmm. Watch your back. I'm not really satisfied with my hand, but it's going to be okay, I hope. Oh, a second surprise delivery. So maybe we can fill his field completely. Hmm, I'm wondering. If I play the Dark Knives on her, she's a vulnerable target for, hmm, I think, how is it called? Curse of Greed. Hmm. But if he cannot kill her, she's going to do 10 damage in total at least, I guess. Ah, it's a gamble. I guess I better go with surprise delivery. I hope it's not a mistake. Madara, good morning! Nice to see you! Ah, uh, yeah, maybe I should have played the Dark Knives. Since he couldn't kill her then with the Blood Ritual. Ah, uh, I don't know, and now we have... Just shit. And when we play the Surprise Delivery, we miss two damage, but... On the other hand, he cannot play any creatures next turn. Hmm. 
Ah, he can. Uh, he's using the blood ritual, I see. Ah, crap. Hmm. I guess this game is not looking that good. Okay. At least a playable creature. to give him dark knights or something like that already i don't know hmm. we can hide him once decent Ah, oh, Guild Enforcer, though. Crap. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. This is bitter. Wind up roller, okay. If we can survive one step at a time. His next turn we might still have a small chance left. Really small, if he's not having bifurcating curse now killing our hidden creatures. We have here, when we hide, the guild enforcer and give assistance aim to the feral shapeshifter 10 damage. We need one more. Ooh. Oh, but he probably uses blood ritual on wind up roller to go up to 12. Oh, not even that. Even more, okay. Well done, well done. I think we are done. Or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, I guess I should have given Assassin's Aim before to the Feral Shapeshifter. I like the way you ah, I guess it doesn't matter. We are we are fucked anyway. I guess. But yeah. If we survive that round, then these three damage will matter. Okay, Demogorgon, we are done. GG. We tried, we tried. I don't know, somehow our uh, cards in the beginning wasn't that good.
Oh, but we are still not falling down. So we have one more chance to climb up. Let's focus. By the way, guys, we are having here on the site a pretty nice giveaway for Perseverance. You can join with hashtag giveaway in the chat, as always. And as soon as we reach 750 followers, I'm going to give that card away. Oh, somehow my my screen is a little bit... Uh, green screen is a little bit fucked. I don't know why. Maybe I was... Hmm, a little bit... Moving it? Oh, against nature. This is going to be hard. Ta -da. So, guess hmm. heads or tails won't be helpful. Lady Marcella and surprise delivery. Surprise delivery will probably be good. Lady Marcella might be too. I just keep it. My turn already. Best of luck. It depends what kind of nature he's playing. Wild, it looks like wild. Okay. So, we could already drop the surprise delivery. We could drop Lady Marcella. Hmm, I guess Lady Marcella is going to be alright. And next turn, the surprise delivery. Oh, Fey Flame Blade. Ah, that hurts. going for face interesting so this delivery comes right in time come on please be so kind to hit her face yeah oh she's taking quite a whole lot of damage and there are no rogue skulkers for you. Okay. Barrel shapeshifter. We must find peace. Oh no, lightning strike. Ouch! Uh, probably I uh, should have gone with these cards, huh? I don't know. Uh, I wasn't thinking about Lightning Strike here. Bronze Servant he's getting. Not a good sign for my makeshift shift. It's going down to 11. Shadewalker. Yeah, when we assume he got no... Not another lightning strike or canopy barrage left. It's nice, but if he does, we have a problem. Got both cards probably twice. 22 cards left in his deck. Ah, so he's looking for these cards. Let's see. He could also play Underbrush Boar. Oh, we are lucky. So lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky in love.
We are one of a wolf in sheep's clothing. This should be possible. We got five mana left. Oh, he's getting a barrel back. How unfortunate. Poor guy. Now he's healing for four. Maybe using Selena's mark. Needs to get rid of my Shade Walker. Ah, GG. Oh, nice. It's so satisfying when you can beat such a hard matchup. This is awesome. But we were lucky too. Really lucky. By the way, guys, if you wanna... Huh? Amazons are gone? No, the Amazons are just... recovering. They need some time to rest to prepare for the next battle. They are coming back for sure. Don't worry. They are just now... Licking their wounds and sharpening their claws. By the way, take a look at my Twitter if you want. I posted it in a pinned message. I always make a post there when I have new streaming times added. So we also have now a calendar at Twitch for streaming. <laughs> yeah, Vangelov, thank you, for sure. Okay, Dark Knives is nice, but sh Feral Shapeshifter and Shadewalker are maybe a little bit too big for the beginning. Surprise delivery I'm not really sure about, especially against light. Mm, this could be cool. I don't know. Let's keep it. Let us be tested together. He's going first, though. Um, when I saw that god power, the heal, I was not expecting Olympian Guard. I was thinking, oh, he's playing control, but okay. Hi, Piers. Hello, welcome back. Nice to see you, as always. Now we have a problem, I guess. Hmm. hmm. Ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Aboriginal, welcome back. Nice to see you. The only good thing is when he wants to get rid of that guy immediately, he has to trade his Olympian guard into it. And he's doing it too. So... Let's play Merrick and Needlefang Chameleon. Willy1GU, welcome back. Nice to see you too. Oh god, Lysander Spear. JFA GU Masters come. Thank you. Thank you for following. Welcome back. Zinu, 
Welcome back to you too. Nice to see you all guys around. So, what are we going to do here? I think he is pretty fast with his spear. But... Hmm. I really don't know. This is not that easy. With a guy with the armor, we cannot take him down. We could hide him, go for some damage, and use surprise delivery of Herald Shapeshifter. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Give me strength. Is your pleasure? Oh, it's a pleasure for me too. Thank you. Thank you very much and welcome on board. Oh god. Oh god, Master of Mill. Oh, his creatures are growing hugely. Ooh. He's not trading off my needle fang, though. I didn't expect that. Hmm. So. Quite sure. He can do next turn at least uh, 10, 14, 16 damage. Hmm, I guess we are done here. It's sad, but it's just the way it is. Never abandon hope. Inescapable duty? Hmm? Ah, and healing. Now he's trading suddenly? I'm confused. But I guess we are done anyway. Oh, bad Chucky! Thank you! Thank you for your raid and welcome raiders! Hi guys! Oh yeah, Argus is dangerous for sure, yeah. And especially his hidden ability is giving me headaches. Bad Chucky, thank you! Yeah, we are having a good run with Hidden Rush Deception, but we can barely not get into Mythic. I guess we are losing now the, the deciding game. Yeah, he can do 11, 17... Yeah, when we play Pyramid Warden, he maybe cannot kill us, but then we are no... Sh yeah, we are not uh, moving any way forward to beat him, so it's it's done. Maybe we are lucky and we don't fall down yet, because our shield is not is keeping it up, but we will see. Ah, no, we fall down. Okay. So, our score is okay, with six wins, but we barely not made it back to Mythic. Yeah, no problem. I don't worry. We are going to get back to Mythic for sure pretty soon. If not today, then tomorrow or maybe in two days. Sooner or later, we're going to make it again. So guys, don't forget to join our giveaway here for Perseverance. You just have to type hashtag giveaway in the chat 
And as soon as we reach 750 followers, I'm going to give the card away. And don't worry, if you are not online and we reach that goal and you win, then I'm going to write you a message on Twitch. Natsat Vagnil, welcome back. Nice to see you. So we are done with daily uh, P2E so far. Let's just do a few more games. Just for trying to climb up a little. And yeah, I guess in one or two matches I'm going to switch games to Magic the Gathering Arena. Okay. Whoa. And we are going first. This is a good sign. Seventy games hidden rush deception. Wow. I can imagine that this is a harsh experience, especially with uh, so many magic around. Um, no, I, I don't have enough time to play a uh, parallel today. I'm going to stream at first uh, Gods Unchained and then Magic. And after that I will set up parallel and I'm going to stream parallel tomorrow. Ah, uh, I don't know. I guess I was doing my mulligans wrong. I should have keep kept Lady Marcella. Good luck. Hmm. The armor lurker could be a good pick on first turn. I'm already so curious about parallel. It's going to be cool for sure. So, I'm not sure though if we should trade here or not, but it's a free trade, so I guess it cannot be wrong. Great, Ravella. Come on. Let's keep it simple. I think now we got him under control. Okay. GG. Yeah, Tsamacha, I have no clue. I have no clue. But for us today, it was working quite good too. Uh, because we don't see much uh, nature. It's quite a lot magic around. We haven't seen any deception today. So, I guess it's all right. I think the worst enemy you have at the moment is magic. Nature is really not present. Yeah, yeah, magic is a bad matchup for sure, yeah. That's the worst at the moment, and magic is around pretty often. Hmm... Yeah, yeah, Aboriginal, you are right. Yeah, Tsamacha, that could be, that could be, yeah. Uh... 
Yo, the bricking is for sure a problem, but I guess there are decks that can brick way harder than Hidden Rush Deception. You have a lot of small creatures, so it's pretty likely you have something you can play with. I'm always not sure about stone skin poison against death. I think usually when they play control, it's not that good. Hmm. Hidden Rush can win from turn 4 first creature, huh? Yeah, for sure you can you can share. I'm Always happy about some insights from other players, and I think the chat is going to be curious for sure too. Don't worry. Ah, okay. Hmm, these ramp guys are a pain in the ass. Davos! Hmm, okay. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Okay, how are we going to do that? I guess it might be not the worst decision to go with Lady Marcella and go right. Next turn we could probably use Reflection Elementalist. Oh yeah, <laughs> with Mart you should be good. You have always to keep an eye on the life points, on, on the damage you can do over... When you think forward for two or three turns maybe, it can be a help. Thank you. GUmasters.com, thank you. So, I feel like my coffee is already running out again. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of people uh, in Diamond at the moment that are usually in Mythic. Hmm. I guess Reflection Elementalist is not a good idea, as long as he got these Rogue Skalkas. No, no, he is in, in Diamond. I'm pretty sure. I saw that. Let's get rid of his rogue skulkas. So next turn he could have bifurcating curse. So now it's really time to play our reflection elementalist, I guess. Oh, and we are lucky that Eva wasn't showing up earlier. Oh yeah, that Elementalist's going to be great. One step at a time. So the question is, do we want to go with the Nightleaf Trapper too? I think why not. Stefanus MSK, welcome back. Nice to see you. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, probably you are right. 
probably all right. Double curse, oh god. Yeah, with double curse, then we are going to be uh, fucked, pretty much. But Shade Walkers even, so I guess we don't need to worry too much. Pretty lucky though. Maybe I should have played Pyramide Warden too, giving him a hidden. No, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fine, yeah. GG! <laughs> Alright. Somehow I feel like... I feel like um, Hidden Rush Deception is quite good against Control Death. We had quite a few matches today against Control Death, and there was one we couldn't win. But there we were bricking a little, I guess. Hmm, I guess, yeah, so much, I guess, yeah. Just. Bifurcating Curse could give you a headache if you are way too slow. Yeah, yeah, you need your early creatures, definitely. Good matchup, yeah. Ah, Necroceptor, yeah. Necroceptor can be a pain in the ass when your opponent is using that. But not all are playing Necroceptor. It can be too slow. Yeah, actually, maybe, yeah. I can imagine. What the hell? We need a creature, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Assassin's aim goes not well with armor lurker. But if we find a pyramid warden? On the other hand, what if we find a kitty for our knives? I don't know. Lady Marcella. Naked Necro can be too slow. Okay, hmm, yeah, I, maybe. Hmm. I can imagine. Best of luck. Watch your back. My turn already. Uh, the thing is, Armor Lurker is not really good here because of the blood ritual. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Perseverance. That heals quite a lot. Let's go with some surprise. Mm, I see, I see. If we could get the Nightleaf Trap out, it would be nice, but I'm not quite sure how. Yeah, yeah, the, the pressure from the Leech guys that is piling now up is... For sure a problem. He's healing a lot now every turn. Oh, Eva and he's blight bombing his own Eva, that's evil. You think so? Ah yeah, because the Shade Walker is too high on mana.
you can remove their 2-2 two, two zombies. Yeah, yeah, we could. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was stupid to attack with the Shade Walker already. And <laughs> now that? Uh, yeah, probably yes. I wasn't. Thinking about bifurcating curse. Uh, I mean, curse of greed. Hmm, second shade walker. Yeah, could have been a good idea. Twelve damage. Hmm. Plus three from the knives, 15. Ah, yeah, you are right. Hmm, I see it's a much I see. Holy crap. But I guess it's over anyway. GG. Alright, so guys, I'm going to switch games now to Magic the Gathering Arena. We're going to play some Historic Brawl today with a mono green beer deck. And tomorrow, when we play tomorrow Magic, we are going to start with limited format again. We're going to play a lot of draft and sealed and stuff like that with the new Wilds of Eldraine set. So give me a second to set everything up and I'll be right back with Magic the Gathering Arena. If you're just here for GU, thank you so far for watching. Have a nice day, good luck for your games. And if you are staying for Magic, I'll be happy. <laughs> GG, Duck, GG. Yeah, and I misplayed a little, I guess. It was a cool game anyway. Thank you, Duck. Thank you very much. So I'll be right back. I'm just setting up the stuff for magic. Thank you for stopping by gfagumasters.com. Thank you.